be more honest about your feelings, goals, passions, work, and you'd be surprised how many people are willing to help achieve it. Where are you from, Toronto? What is your favorite piece that you have created? I've been working with a friend of mine recently to draft up some custom clothing and jackets. There's a pair of baby blue suede pets we're creating right now, and I am super excited to photograph and wear it. What are your goals? While working on Into Archive, and expanding to a new collection now for streetwear called Into Ike, I am also slowly creating some custom clothing of my own. They've mainly been jackets and trousers, with cool materials like neoprene and suede. I'm hoping to launch something interesting next year, but it's honestly been a great learning process too. What is your inspiration doing fashion? Fashion is a way for me to connect with others, but also test out new ideas on my body. During college, I never really thought of myself as someone a part of the industry, but more just photographing and having fun with it. I was cutting up a lot of knit sweaters and existing clothes to try out new styles. Overall, it made me feel more confident and excited every day. Who would you most like to collaborate with? For my archive store, I would love to style more male celebrities like Pharrell Williams or even Kanye West. What is the best advice you have been given? Honestly, and no one really cares is probably the best advice I've been given. It sounds pretty depressing, but it actually created a lot of courage in me to just post and do whatever I wanted to. At the end of the day, anyone's opinion of the work I do doesn't change the reality of it. I think it's enough to even put a design in publica and is the first step towards a goal. If you could change anything about the industry. What would it be? It would be nice to have a Rolodex available to the public for more fashion collaborations. It's so hard to meet, work with the members behind the scenes and brands. Unless you have a lot of mutuals too, it's a tougher industry to break into at the beginning too. How does a day in your life look like? I was never a morning person, but in the past two years I really prioritized waking up around 7-8am every morning. The first half of my day is spent managing orders communicating with my team and hopping on meetings. The second half is in the afternoon, and is mostly spent on creative content making, photography, and styling. Usually I finish around 5-6 p.m., and then head outside for a meeting or dinner with a friend. I try to keep my days as filled up as possible. What is next for you? My collection of clothing or possibly expanding into archive to brick and mortar stores. I would love to grow it to a larger scale and befriend more people along the way. I also have a personal goal of collecting over 10,000 vintage items in the next two years.